Tonight, a historic vacant church on Cleveland's east side is in ruins. Look at this. this a fire tore through the building this morning. And hours ago, we learned the church will be demolished. Isabel Lawrence shares those details, plus what that building meant to the people who worship there. Morning blue skies pierced by a plume of smoke. It's a lot of fire here. Lieutenant Mike Norman with the Cleveland Division of Fire says crews got to the scene in the Union Miles neighborhood on the city's east side at about 7 in the morning. There, they found the vacant Pentecostal determined Church of God on fire. So we have five engines, three ladders, and a technical rescue unit working this fire. Firefighters mindful of the possibility of collapse given the roof was missing from the church. You've got four story brick walls that are just unsupported at this point. Watching as crews got the fire under control was Will Tyner. I come down and come up behind. I'm like, it really is on fire, like completely on fire. Like the whole building just, the whole inside gone. To him, this was more than a spectacle. This was his childhood church. The way this church was, was like a big family for real. Everybody just kind of was just close knit and cool. Like Tyner says the church, which according to county records was built in 1872, had issues with the roof, causing the congregation to move out a few years ago. But the building still holds special meaning. Hey, it's a memory point for you. You know, you know what I'm saying? Not to mention historical point of the city. So it's like two things yeah, lost at once. Historical. But in the spirit of the season, Tyner believes what was found in that church extends beyond its four walls. Church is not a building, it's within, so. Exactly. Well, the big question now is what happens next to this building? I did reach out to the city for you and they tell me that they did do a damage assessment. At this point, the decision has been made to demolish this church. In terms of a timeline, I'm told that will happen as soon as possible. And actually just within the last hour, a long reach excavator did arrive here on scene. So it does seem they are gearing up to take action here at some point soon. Of course, we'll keep an eye on that for you. And in terms of why this happened, the Cleveland Division of Fire says the cause is still under investigation. I hope those people still find a place to gather together because it's evident that it's so special to them. Isabel, thank you.